Hi, in previous episode uh, I made the operator control panel. I was talking about the buttons, about switches and uh, some effects what they're causing. Today is the time when we're going to connect the operator control panel to the main control panel. And of course uh, we need to connect all the inputs signals to PLC. Here's a small Siemens logo, a very, very clever device for small panels as ours, uh, for private use or for any or for beginners. This is a perfect device to learn how to program PLC. Very easy in programming, very easy to use, but uh, I will talk more about it in next few episodes. I will say more about all the parameters on this PLC. For today, we're just gonna connect the input signals from operate control panel. And maybe one output for uh, the indicator. So let's see how that's gonna look on the schematic. Here we have the three pages, what we uh, previously designed it. I just created the fourth uh, page, what I named PLC. Here we're going to add uh, the PLC, of course. We must draw the PLC as a first uh, because there will be nowhere to connect the wires from the uh, operator control panel. In the software, uh, we have a few available uh, PLC devices, but there is no Siemens logo what we're going to use. So we're going to create a new one, but it won't be any problem for that. So I'm going to create a new block PLC. I will name it Siemens logo. Here we have a few options uh, for different terminals. I'm gonna add these two terminals as a power supply. And then I'm gonna add a few uh, digital inputs and digital outputs. Here we have a more options for analog inputs uh, and also for relay outputs. Here's a picture uh, how the Siemens logo actually looks. I'm gonna uh, just uh, ignore that module on the right hand side what is a, a added module with the extra inputs and extra uh, outputs for now we're gonna ignore it uh, but we're gonna add this module uh, later on when we will need it as i said in the beginning uh, more information about this plc uh, will be in next episodes uh, so what we can see here this is a positive power supply then uh, there's a terminal m uh, for negative power supply and eight inputs from one to eight. Here we have a four transistor outputs. What's that mean? I'm gonna explain in in next episode. But we have a four outputs, and also we have a four analog inputs. But I I will just explain this uh, later, as I said. So we're gonna just draw eight inputs, four outputs, and two terminals for power supply. So the first terminal will be a plus 24 volts DC and the second will be minus 24 volt dc and i'm gonna add uh, eight digital inputs one two three four five six seven eight and i can leave the numbers like this because of course uh, the numbers will match and of course four uh, digital outputs and this will be output one output two output three and output four and here on the right hand side we can see where is the input where is the output so if we have everything uh, we can just create the graphical object we're going to name it same siemens logo and the program is asking in which library we we want to save it of course in the plc library so we just created a new plc what was already added um, to the folder so let's see how that's going to look like i'm just moving to page plc and i'm just choosing a siemens logo and it looks like this and it looks same as in the picture. So on the top, we have a power supply, eight inputs and four outputs. And of course, if necessary, we can move the outputs. Uh, this is a, actually doesn't matter. And I just gonna uh, connect the 24 volts. It's gonna move to the first page where we want to connect the PLC, the power supply for PLC. Of course, we're gonna connect the uh, power supply to permanent 24 volts not after a safety relay only straight from a PCU 
and because as I mentioned uh, on the episode with the safety relay the PLC may do a different task when the emergency stop uh, will be pressed so that's why we're gonna run the power supply straight from a uh, PCU so let's draw a couple lines and of course we're gonna connect them together and also I'm gonna connect uh, the negative with negative on PLC so the power supply uh, for PLC is ready so we can move to uh, inputs here when I draw the emergency stop relay I created a HMI this is the place uh, where we have the emergency stop button of course uh, now we have a more button switches uh, and other devices on the on the HMI so I'm gonna create the next page what I'm gonna name HMI and now I'm gonna draw the whole panel with all buttons and switches I will add location because that's gonna be a different location from a main panel so I'm gonna add this location to already created uh, location operators panels or HMI so this will be the same HMI what uh, we already created for emergency stop button so I don't gonna draw the emergency stop button as we already have it so it's no point to double it I'm gonna add a few buttons here is the standard push button is a one second and third the first one will be for start at uh, uh, stop and reset and the next thing is a switch manual auto and this is nothing else as a uh, two normally open contacts connected together it will be a uh, one indicator light and maybe gonna just make it a bit smaller and move all the bits so the S1 will be the start button uh, S2 will be stop button and S3 it will be reset button but the reset button we already have on page 2 with safety relay and we named the push button S0 so we can connect these two push buttons because they are actually same I only uh, put the uh, reset button uh, again on the uh, HMI because we're gonna use another signal from this switch uh, for PLC so in the future we can connect the reset button with PLC uh, to basically let the PLC know that we already pressed the button maybe to do other functions so I'm gonna join these two uh, buttons and of course some information appear here uh, to let us know where else the button uh, is on the on the drawing so I'm just gonna draw a few wires uh, here will be the power supply to the buttons so the power supply will be one to all buttons uh, but of course here from uh, K1 we need two wires to two different inputs uh, on PLC so the PLC will recognize uh, what is the position of uh, uh, manual auto switch so if the both contacts will stay open and uh, that will mean for PLC that the key is on zero here I'm gonna join this to a uh, normally open uh, contacts to one switch uh, so there will be only one name so I can delay the, the other one so we can connect all these two top wires um, because they all will be connected to 24 volts positive where are we going to connect the uh, the switches uh, of course we we must connect um, the the power supply to the switches to the PCU before uh, the safety relay so we're going to put it the terminal number three so on the first input we should get a, a signal from first terminal on the terminal group x3e 
because we need to read on the PLC if the safety relay is on so basically if the emergency stop was pressed so now we can connect a button start to the input number two and push button stop to PLC input number three number four and number five that's gonna be inputs from a manual outer switch so we have all the buttons now so now from output number one we're going to run the output for the orange uh, indicate light and of course all the connections and here we're going to connect the minus 24 volts okay so we're going to leave the reset button for now uh, because we have the reset button somewhere else already connected and that's going to be only input for plc here i can uh, of course name the inputs the input number one uh, will be the emergency stop so i'm going to call emergency stop input number two this is start number three is stop and an auto manual now i need to update all the terminals names and connections so i'm going to clean up all these uh, connections uh, i don't going to show this on the video because i uh, i will, because i shown this already uh, on the previous episodes so now i will just physically connect the elements uh, on on the panel i'm going to run uh, the wires directly from the HMI to the panel because the my panel will be very close to the control panel uh, in different cases uh, you we can use uh, cables with the plugs and then uh, use the sockets on the control panel and the uh, HMI to connect these two panels together but in our case this is not necessary so I just gonna use the wires directly from HMI. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna create extra terminal group uh, just to join, just to connect all the wires from uh, HMI to the terminal group and then from the terminal group the wires will go straight to PLC or different places in the control panel. I just updated the uh, schematic. I moved the 24 volts power supply to the another page because it was a uh, quite tight here I just move the terminals to one line because there's a, a good practice to um, draw the same terminals from the same terminal group on in one line so it's more visible and here the second uh, terminal and here's the terminal x3e I make some changes also on the uh, connection lines as you see there's some angles on the wires what's that mean this is a uh, only direction of the wires so here we can see on the hmi the wire goes to to terminal number one on the group x4 and then it goes to push button s1 uh, terminal three and then from number three goes to uh, to s2 so you can we can see the direction of the wire so it goes from s1 number three to s2 number three and again from number three on s2 it goes to k1 so in next episode uh, i'm gonna just uh, print out the schematic and uh, i'm gonna join all the wires on the panel see you soon